Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Today I'm creating on an 8x10 um, gallery depth wood panel and I'm going to be using this beautiful rice paper uh, from um, LTD Collection. Um, I actually ordered it uh, through an Etsy shop online. Um, it's a place called ACS Supplies and she's located in uh, Georgia here in the United States. Uh, so the shipping um, is good and uh, things come um, uh, fairly quickly. So uh, I'm going to be uh, embossing all of the that chipboard that I showed you, um, the uh, spread your wings as well as the bricks. Um, it's a really quick and easy way to get some color um, and to seal up that chipboard um, in, in a quicker way than um, gessoing them and painting them and those kinds of things. Um, I am cutting off the white border around um, the rice paper. Uh, you do have to be fairly uh, gentle because if you just um, do it like you're cutting scrapbook paper, it will just tear the rice paper. So I'm just kind of jiggling, uh, moving the cutter back and forth, and uh, I usually don't have any difficulty as long as I uh, go slow. Um, and I'm, I'm just really gentle with the paper. Um, I do have to take a little bit more off um, because, again, the um, panel measures 8 by 10 and the rice paper is slightly bigger than that by uh, about an inch and a half, I believe. Um, so I'm just cutting it down a little bit on each side. I wish that I hadn't, didn't have to cut it off, but uh, it was just a little bit too big. Um, and so now I'm going to set that rice paper aside and I'm going to go ahead and um, prepare my um, chipboard for embossing. Um, so I'm using the um, Ranger Archival ink. Um, and they're just taking a drink of my coffee in my superheroes mug. Um, but I'm going to be using the Ranger Archival ink in coffee. And I'm just giving it a really, really good coat, kind of smushing the pad down onto the the wood there to make sure that it gets uh, a complete coverage. Uh, I'll be doing it in two parts. I'll do the words and then I'll go back and do the bricks uh, once I've heat set um, or embossed the words. So, And I'm using a uh, clear embossing powder. Um, and when you do that, then that means you can use any color ink you wanted to, uh, whether you're... Um, you know, making a card or you're doing it uh, using embossing like I'm using it here, um, you can um, use a colored ink and clear embossing powder and your embossed design will be the color of your ink, uh, which is really nice. So um, it's a really versatile way to, to be able to have a little bit more variety when you're embossing things. And here I'm going to go ahead and... Um, melt that and that it's essentially what you're doing because embossing powder is basically plastic and it's ground up plastic and so the heat tool melts that plastic and creates um, a, a plastic finish basically on uh, on the chipboard so and as you can see there it does have a bit of a shine and now I'm going to bring that back over dump that powder back into my container so that I can do the uh, chipboard pieces as well. And again, giving it a really good coat. I want to make sure that I don't uh, miss any of the pieces on there and get the surface covered well. And drop that back into my tray. This tray is really nifty too. I don't know that it necessarily keeps my studio any cleaner when using embossing powder, uh, but at least it uh, you can pour it back into that container fairly easily. Um, I do tend to just have powder everywhere when I emboss. I'm not sure... Why? Probably because I have a fan going above me pretty much all the time. So uh, that would make sense. Um, but anyway, going ahead and giving that a coat. And then I'm going to heat set that as well again with my heat tool. Thank you. 
Oh, and there it is, a close-up. Just turns out really nice, and it's kind of a, the lazy way to, uh, to prep chipboard for paint or for use in your project. It's just really nifty and fast. And I'm going to go ahead and um, apply a coat of a generous coat of Liquitex matte medium onto my uh, wood panel uh, so that I can go ahead and adhere that rice paper. Um, I apologize for the focus. Um, the camera is sensitive to the fact that the uh, primary um, item in view is white and so it wants to white balance and so that's why it goes in and out of the shot or it goes in and out of focus so um, that that stops once you get some color or something else uh, in that space so and I'm trying to get it as straight as I can um, I don't really worry too much about it I, I do um, most often give my pieces a dark frame um, using charcoal and so um, it's not going to show um, if one side is a little bit has a little bit more white uh, wood panel there showing um, versus the other side doesn't really matter um, you do want to be fairly um, gentle with the rice paper um, again like the Stamperia pa uh, rice paper I've used um, it was really durable and I didn't have any trouble and this one is fairly durable as well so not too fragile but those birds are so cute and I just loved the um, when I picked the rice paper to use for the project I just it really spoke to me and I started to go through uh, my chipboard uh, stash and um, found this one um, sentiment spread your wings and I just thought of those little birds up in their safe little limb in the tree and you know and just was reminded how easy it is for us to stay kind of in our safe places and in our comfortable places and yet when we stay there we miss out on a lot of blessings um, both received and given and so um, I really appreciate um, that reminder that um, you just got to spread your wings and give it a try. You know, if you fall, you get back up and you try again. Um, but you, there's just so many limitations when we kind of stay in our safe place. We don't get to experience the beauty of relationship and, um, and we just, I think we miss out on a lot. So I'm just using that clock stencil to just add a little bit more visual interest uh, to the piece um, just by applying it here and there around uh, around the panel. Um, you'll probably notice that the one that I just did in the upper left hand corner is a little bit darker and that is because my makeup brush still had um, the black archival ink on it I suspect and so when it combined with the um, the coffee color it um, it was darker so um, but I just like the just the little added touch of interest that um, applying these clocks um, provides and again the clocks um, remind me too of um, time and choices and um, you know we just you never know how much time you have and so um, I, I like thinking about that and and so I like to put them in my projects and here I'm using a script stamp um, I don't have the um, title of it uh, right now but I will um, look that up and put it in the video description I'm just wanting to add a little bit more interest just to t just to um, bring out that um, coffee color um, because it is um, similar to the paint colors that I I end up using um, to uh, highlight and accent my uh, bricks so um, that's why I decided to do that um, and I'm applying the um, the chipboard with the my Liquitex heavy gel um, and I'm just applying it as best I can with this small paintbrush um, it never fails that um, I use too much or something and it ends up oozing out underneath and um, I just go in with a smaller paintbrush and um, wipe that away and get rid of that excess glue um, because that's essentially what heavy gel is is a glue it's an adhesive 
Um, so, or it can be an adhesive. I shouldn't say that it is just an adhesive, but, and so that's just me going in with that small brush that I was just talking about. And I'm just going to go ahead and let you watch as I adhere the rest of the words and the bricks. And um, I'll come back and continue. I will say that the brick chipboard is much easier to adhere um, because it's a solid piece of wood rather than needing to apply that uh, gel medium uh, just on the, the letters um, is quite difficult. Um, but the, um, the big bigger pieces are much easier. So again, just coming in and cleaning, cleaning up, making sure I don't have any glue residue around that piece. Um, even though the gel medium will, um, or the gel, heavy gel, will dry clear, it does leave kind of a globby look um, that's kind of yucky, like a glue booger or something. I don't like it anyway. I've taken close-ups of projects that I've done before and it's like I can't really use the close-up because you can see the glue and it's just uh, it's just not pretty so and here I'm just applying a smaller piece there to the bottom uh, kind of towards the middle and then off to the left I will be accenting that um, the bricks uh, to just give it a little bit more interest. Uh, be using um, golden uh, fluid acrylic in manganese blue hue, I think is how you say it, um, and raw sienna, and then a little bit of Liquitex heavy body uh, titanium white paint. I'm just running my finger over it uh, a little bit. Um, the blue doesn't end up really showing up all that much um, because the the wood ended up being very, very dark. Um, not a kind of a raw umber um, depth of brown. Uh, so the blue was uh, a little bit difficult to capture there. Um, but I am going to come in with the raw sienna, which is pretty much the same color as the... Um, the archival ink that I used, the coffee color. Uh, so that worked out nicely. I'm just kind of using my finger just to let it skip along, 
that, uh, that texture, that raised parts of the chipboard. I don't do anything with the letters with the spread your wings because I felt like it um, it was just uh, right, um, just as it was. Um, I am going to come in and put a little bit more blue, and that does um, allow uh, some of that to turn a little bit green, so um, that worked out well. Um, but I did want that blue captured because I wanted to bring out the blue in the birds. Um, so... So a little bit more blue there, and it shows up a little bit more now that I'm putting it on a lighter uh, color of paint. So um, I was really pleased with that. And I do come in off camera and uh, paint um, the edges of the wood panel uh, with my um, uh, bone black deco art, uh, I'm sorry, uh, deco art carbon black paint. Um, and that is the um, premium paint. And here I'm just coming in with my Soho Black Soft Pastel and coming around all the edges just to create a nice border around the piece. Um, it kind of gives it kind of a vignette look, I think, uh, especially on this piece. It was very complimentary, I felt. Um, with all of the lights, I guess it, it created a really good contrast. Um, so I'm just going to come around all the edges and give it a good um, a good border there. And so as you can see, there are some uh, some of the sides there was more white board showing than other sides. But um, again, when you apply the the soft pastel, you can't really tell. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you have not already liked and subscribed to my channel, I sure hope that you do. Um, I hope to see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.